All right, guys, it's Quick Draw here, and today we're going to be playing a little bit of Elder Scrolls The Blades. Now, I've just started this game, so I'm not typically far or an expert by any means, but we're going to be playing the game, and I'm just going to be showing you guys a little bit of gameplay, and if you guys like this video and subscribe and want to see more, hopefully we can make this an ongoing series. Um, but without any further ado, let's get into Elder Scrolls The Blades. Now, to find your quests, you're actually going to go to a quest menu. Now, unlike the quest menu in the regular games, this is actually how you will start each quest. Starting each quest will take you to the specific area where the quest is going to take place and that's pretty much it honestly um, as far as how to start a quest now when you go in there will be enemies um, in a path just like any other dungeon or any other area that you're going to go through in any of the other games but you won't really have as much room to explore as a regular Skyrim or Elder Scrolls session um, which is to be expected. I mean, it, this is a game on the mobile device. Um, the gameplay is a little bit different. The battling system is a little bit different. What you're going to do is just kind of press and hold the circle, and as soon as it gets, you know, nice and big, you'll go ahead and hit it for that good damage. Um, I'd like to apologize to you guys for the sound quality on this video. I actually am recording this on my on my Galaxy S8 Plus, so I do not have a mic yet, but hopefully I'll be able to fix that soon. Um, again, if you guys like the video and you want to see more, just go ahead and hit the like button and comment on this, and perhaps we can make this an ongoing series. So, never doing this quest before, I'm just going to kind of go through and tell you guys what I'm thinking as I go. Um, the enemies, they will drop items that you can pick up. You don't actually have to loot the enemies like the other games. Um, I actually like looting the enemies, so it's a little bit of a uh, an adjustment, but you know, no big deal. Your skills are actually right above each category that they go in, um, so your perks go above your vitality, your magic will go above your mana, and the skills that equate to your acrobats go over your, um, over your, your I'm sorry, I'm totally blanking on uh, blanking on the name for it. Um, it's basically your stamina, it's your energy. Um, so there's there's different moves. You get them by leveling up, so you can learn different abilities by putting your points into that skill section. Um, so for example, you can shield bash in the regular games. In this game, you can shield bash once you learn the skill, which I have not. Um, for leveling up, it's also fairly easy. You would just go to your section right up here. And that is how you level up, just like pretty much any other game um, in the Elder Scrolls series. Leveling up is always pretty easy. You'll pick where you want to put that. Um, I've actually been leaning towards doing more stamina in my leveling up just because I'm looking to do more feats with my character rather than cast spells at this point in the game. Um, I'm actually going to wait to go ahead and use that, that skill point for now. And we'll just go ahead and continue clearing this, killing all the goblins, completing this, this little quest here. The way that you'll obtain weapons, um, I'm sure you saw earlier I picked up a chest. You actually have to open the chests on timers. Um, right now I've only found basic and silver chests. A basic chest is about five seconds to wait. A silver chest takes about three hours to open. Or you can use the in-game currency, i.e. the gems, to open them up quicker than that. Um, but I'm not really going to spend money on the game at this point, seeing as how I'm just getting into it. And I'm not going to use the little bit of in-game money I have to not wait as long I can easily just close the game and take care of some other things during that time. Um, you'll see that, as I mentioned earlier, the enemies just kind of drop the items. Um, and you even have this nice little blue aura that's going to tell you where you need to go. And again, I apologize for the sound quality on this video. I am not using a microphone, just kind of recording with my phone here on the screen recording mode that the Samsung Galaxy has come with. Um, so it looks like I killed all of the goblins, so you can either choose to complete the quest or explore the area. Um, exploring the area, you really just look for whatever secret might be in this section, and um, that's pretty much it. The way you complete the quest after you choose to explore is to just kind of find the exit or entrance, and then you can finish it there. I'm actually going to just complete this one just because this is a very low-level quest, not a lot in this section, and I just want to make this a quicker video, kind of 
kind of just showing you guys some of the gameplay for this game. I know some, some people have waited a long time for it to come out. It got pushed back quite a few times, and it looks like it's not much different than the gameplay that was showcased for it, so I'm not sure why it was pushed back so much. Um, but yeah, there you have it. This is Elder Scrolls The Blades. And again, if you guys kind of want to see more gameplay, um, I'm, I'm going to be posting other videos. I just had a little bit of time to make a short short showcase video showing you guys a little bit of the game, a little bit of the mechanics, um, and kind of what it's looking like. In here, real fast, I can show you that I do have a silver chest. I have 41 minutes left until it opens. So, um... Yeah, that's kind of how you're going to get your your items, your armor, and other things here. If you go take a look at my character here, I don't have a lot right now because, again, I am just starting this game. But I do have a Iron Lawn Sword of Sparks, which is what I actually used when I was uh, kind of making that last video. I also have a fine Iron Long Sword. It's the Iron Long Sword I started with, but I just improved the condition. Um, in another video, I'll show you how to improve the condition of your weapons and a little more of the gameplay. But this has been Quick Draw, and thank you guys for watching an episode of Elder Scrolls The Blades.